Hi, this is Charlie Montotiello with another video about Native American flutes. This video is going to be along the lines of a flute playing project that I thought some of you might enjoy. It's uh, something I've had a lot of questions about and kind of falls along my line of business here because I've been playing the flute for a long, long time, not to mention concert musician and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, what we're going to discuss is playing this flute, the Native American flute, um, in a blues scale. This particular flute here is one of my western cedars uh, that we sell on our website. This is one that is tuned, not like our traditionally tuned, although you could use any one of our flutes to, to play this with. This one is tuned to the key of A minor. Now, of course they're all minor pentatonic, but uh, this one is A, and it is tuned also 432 hertz. Now 432 hertz is something you might want to look into if you don't know anything about it. Uh, 440 is another tuning that I offer on our, our website as well, as well as traditionally tuned, which sometimes is really close to A or B flat. Um, but, uh, but this guy here is an A432 hertz. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the blues on it. Um, this is a two-stage video, so this is part one. Part two is going to teach you more about the song we're going to play. But this song, we're going to use the flute or this video rather, we're going to use a flute just as it is. We're not going to do anything to the flute to make it play the blue scale. And I want to show you how to play the blue scale with your flute. And it doesn't matter if your flute's in A or B or D or whatever key or even traditionally tuned today, because this is just practice. But tomorrow there's going to be a uh, audio track that you're going to be able to download for free, which is kind of nice. Um, that you can play along with and this will help you learn how to play the blues on your Native American flute. In order to play with the audio track you're going to receive it will have to be an A minor flute. So anyway, long story short, right? Um, this is how you play the regular minor pentatonic scale. The blues scale, we can play it two different ways, one with half covering a hole and one with uh, alternate fingerings. I'm going to show you slowly both ways and you can determine which one works best for you but what you'll need to do is practice this scale so that tomorrow when we upload the other video of course you know if this is years from now it's <laughs> not tomorrow but, but anyway uh, you'll need to practice and then watch the other video to see how to play with it and you can kind of mess around and do some other things and then you go off on your own after you download the audio track and gosh it's really wordy to get these points across sometimes so, oh, and one other thing, too, is you don't have to be a skilled musician to do this. The blues, I would like to say 90% of the greatest, uh, historically greatest blues players weren't, you know, orchestrally, orchestrally trained musicians. They uh, were not, uh, many of them only knew how to play by ear, so at least some of my favorite ones. Um, but anyway, so we've played the regular scale. And this is the blues scale. If you notice, the only difference between playing the regular scale and playing the blues scale is I have covered this hole. You can practice that at home just half covering the hole. That's the way I prefer to play notes um, that are a half step different than what I'm trying to accomplish on the flute. And if you want to play with the alternate fingering, you can play this way. That gets a little technical and complicated for my taste, but uh, you can play the other way I do. So that gives you the scale. Anyone that's interested that would like to know, we're going to be uploading the, uh, the names of the minor pentatonic scale notes on our website here soon in our flute making department. But I also wanted to kind of coordinate this along with the time that we release our flute making book. So keep all this in mind. Um, but I would like to give you at least the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale in case there are those of you who are playing along with a piano or clarinet or some other instrument. Uh, the A minor pentatonic scale is A, C, D, E, G, and then you repeat again and go to A. The major scale 
is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. And then the blues scale is A, C, D, D sharp, or E flat for those of us bass players, uh, and then G, A. Uh, the difference, you know, we could talk theory on here, that's not what I'm for, because I don't want to get this too complicated. Um, because really many of you at home that play this flute probably don't read music, and that is fantastic in my book. You don't get the same distractions as those of us who read four different clefs and everything. Whew. Anyway, uh, so, but for those of you who are skilled and kind of curious what these scales are all about, the, uh, the major scale, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, is the A scale. And to make a uh, minor pentatonic scale out of that, and I think it's the way you make minor pentatonic scales out of just about everything. Anyway, <laughs> it is uh, the first note, the diminished third note, the fourth note, fifth note, and diminished seventh note. And then you go back to the bass root of the scale again. So first, um, diminished third, fourth, fifth, diminished seventh. There's another thing you can do, once again, for those of you who are these orchestrally tuned musicians, um, or at least you're aspiring to be, either which way, you know, knowledge is power, right? Um, you can also put a diminished ninth in there, which is something I like to do. Uh, makes it a lot funner in some cases, and I'll play that one for you, but anybody else that's layman, don't even worry about this part, it's just crazy stuff. What I'm doing is I'm half covering the second note. That's actually the ninth, diminished ninth. Uh, what makes it a... Mm, somebody's going to have to help me on this. Is it a Dorian scale? I forget. But anyway, it makes it sound good. <laughs> Even with the blues, uh, it makes it sound kind of cool. But, uh, but anyway, for those of you, once again, just a refresher that are at home so that you don't have to rewind and play back that first part really slow, which might not be a bad idea, the basic scale, and I'm going to show you the way that I do it because it's more comfortable for me, And those of you who have a six-hole flute that you purchased from somewhere else that has a hole right here in the middle that you keep covered up with your finger all the time, just keep it covered up with your finger all the time. Um, that's all I got to say about that. But <laughs> anyway, so the minor pentatonic scale is basically one note away from being a blues scale. And to accomplish it, all you have to do is remember to half cover this third hole and then uncover it and then do the rest of your scale, half cover it cover it and do the rest of your scale. Easy stuff. I'll, uh, like I say, eventually be posting all the notes and everything for minor pentatonic scales on our website for those of you making flutes. This is basically one of our Western Cedar Flute Kit flutes that I made that I keep for myself and it's tuned to A432 uh, hertz. Good sounding flute and uh, makes a beautiful, beautiful accompaniment for any kind of blues which we're going to work on and have you guys some excellent stuff going on for our next video. So, anyway, once again, this is Charlie Montatuyella signing off for Blue Bear Arts and BlueBearFlutes.com. Please check us out on the web if you haven't been there before. We've got lots of neat stuff on our website. And also our Facebook page tells you where most of the places we're going to, Blue Bear Arts on Facebook. And uh, come back and see us again really soon. Take care.